Good morning, my friends. It's Mrs. Johnson from Shining Star Waldorf School, and I'm about to show you a fifth grade botany lesson that we do in the Waldorf School to learn about the shape of leaves and their, what we might call their cosmic destinies. You might want to call it their hmm, beautiful histories from the from the stars and the universe that come into their formation and their shape. And we can look for those in leaves and it's a lot of fun to do. And I hope you'll enjoy this unit. I'm gonna be putting out probably a couple of these smaller videos and I'm gonna show you the first part today. So we wanna learn about botany and as always in the Waldorf School, we wanna learn about it from the point of view of the human being. So how am I made, how am I formed? And then how does nature around me, how is it shaped, how is it formed, and what are the aspects that I can appreciate and understand uh, from my point of view? Uh, so, you know, human beings are all different from one another. There's no two that are the same. Even identical twins have slight differences that people notice and can tell them apart fairly well if you get to know them. So... We're all different. We all come in slightly unique, and we can appreciate that. Our thinking also is different. Our thinking is unique. There are many points of view. And so when we look at leaves on trees, we can see that trees have personalities. Um, now, trees, kind of like other animals and plants, they have some very, very common features. So all Douglas fir trees will have very common features. They might be slightly changed in shape by their environment or factors in their their climate or possibly other factors like a tree, a deer comes along and nips off the top of one for a treat, they're gonna grow a little differently. So there's some things, but all of them will have fundamental characteristics, just like, for example, the white-tailed deer in Eastern Oregon, they all look nearly identical. Uh, there are very few differences between them. Um, so we're a little different. Humans are really um, much more individualized than these groups. But So we can look at trees and we can see that there are groups of trees, families of trees, that share identical characteristics. And those characteristics can involve the kind of bark they have, the height of the tree, the shape of the limbs, the patterns of the leaves, the kinds of fruits they bear and where they grow, and all of these factors come into play. So part of our study right now is going to be, it's a month-long study I'm putting on, and this uh, study is going to involve at some point going out to gather a few leaves, and we're going to be looking for leaves in our yards in the time of the virus, and so I have gathered some leaves, and I'll show you. This is, a, I happen to know that this is a lace leaf Norwegian maple, and it's a small leaf. I'll hold it up next to me. Oh, kind of hard to see against that wall, but it's a smaller leaf, but it is a beautiful tree. And of course, right now, the trees are all uh, just fresh uh, with their leaves. Their leaves have just come out. And there's the back underside of the leaf, and then here's the front side of the leaf. And on the underside, you can really see the veins. And we're going to be looking at those veins. Very important patterns. And you notice on the leaf, look at it carefully. I have a lovely piece of equipment here. I have a wonderful uh, magnifying glass on a, st on a stand and I can hold my leaf under my magnifying glass and I can see really amazing, uh, maybe you can see too, really kind of an amazing situation to really study it. So that's the, the lace leaf Norwegian maple. Here is another common leaf to be found in the Northwest. This is the hazelnut tree. This is the filbert tree leaf. Uh, it has its own interesting shape. Again, you can see those veins. Uh, and again, the shape of the leaf, very characteristic. The leaf on a tree often is how we tell what kind of tree it is. But you can also tell by the bark or by the wood. This is a black leaf maple that grows in my yard. And uh, it has very dark, almost brown, purple, blackish leaves. And again, it has the veins on the back. And again, I can study it through my magnifying glass, really looking at the leaves. And I'm going to lay these leaves onto a paper towel because I just picked them and it's raining. 
And what you do is you get your leaves and you lay them under a paper towel, dry them off. And you can put a book on there if you want. This is a project we're going to do with the leaves are fresh. So we want the leaf to be fresh and we don't need it to be dried. We're going to be pressing leaves too and making a collection. But these leaves today are meant for using fresh. Finally, this is the linden tree or basswood tree leaf. You notice it has one cheek that's lower on one side. That's the characteristic of this tree. It's a it's part of the family where the elves lived in the hobbits, so we really like the linden tree, and it's also known as the basswood. And again, you can see those veins and looking at the back. And again, a lot of leaves have a little jaggedy edge on them. You can see the little jaggedy edge. And this has to do with the water dripping off the leaves. It is a director for the water. There are different edges of leaves, and we should pay attention. We should pay attention to the stem, how long the stem is. This is the full stem of the basswood. It's not very long, whereas the black leaf maple has a very long stem, and the hazelnut has a very short stem. So I'm not sure if you can see that. I think you can. Okay, so what we're going to do in our, in our study now is we're going to pick a leaf, and I picked the linden tree to begin with. And what I'm doing is, I'm going to show you on my camera here, I'm tracing around the leaf. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn this around. No, I cannot. So I have to hold it like this. So I've traced around the leaf on a piece of paper. I've laid this leaf flat on the paper. And then I've taken a very, very sharp pencil. I put an apple on it to hold it down. And I put a very, very sharp pencil, and I've just drawn around the outside of the leaf as carefully as I can. I've held it down with my fingers like this, so that I'm drawing with one hand, I'm holding with the other, and I've included the stem, and I try to get that leaf as exactly as I can I, on this paper. And I'm including the little striations, the little jaggedy edges. When I'm finished, it looks like that. And now I'm going to be looking at this leaf, and I'm going to be looking at the veins. And I'm going to see there's a vein that goes from tip to stem. And I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil as a ruler today. I'm not sure if I can show you this and do it at the same time, but maybe I can. But you're going to take, and I'm going to draw lightly here because I'm not sure I can hold it. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to draw the stem. I'm going to draw the lines of the stems. And I'm going to draw them... I'm going to use my ruler, but I'm just filling in here now on top. So I'm going to try to find these guiding lines, okay? So, and after I do that, I'm going to look at the back of the leaf. I'm going to study it, how those lines, those veins, come out from the center vein. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to mark the angles of those veins, and I'm going to draw them on this leaf, okay? Now, the next short little segment of the video, if you do that, you can do that on a couple of leaves, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do next after we get all of those leaves and vein, the leaves drawn and the veins drawn. Then we're going to come back and we're going to do something with those lines. Okay? So I'll be part two. So for right now, just get your fresh leaves, pick a couple, put it on a big page like this, and draw the leaf carefully, so carefully, precisely. Fourth and fifth graders, you're going to draw like engineers now okay then you're going to come back once we get those general veins drawn on here and i'll see you in part two okay bye bye